Hello friends, hello strangers. It is Jordan and Barry here, the Brownstone Boys, and boy are we excited today because today we're taking you inside the Real Simple Show House here in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. We were chosen as designers in this beautiful house with six other designers who all picked out a room. We did the entire parlor floor, so we're gonna show you our design for the living, dining, lounge, kitchen, butler's pantry, and powder room spaces. Let's head inside. Welcome to the parlor floor of this beautiful brownstone, and we had the privilege of designing this entire floor. But backing up a little bit, let's tell you how we got involved in this project. Real Simple Magazine reached out to us because they wanted to do a brownstone for the 2024 show house. So we connected them with the homeowner here because we knew how gorgeous this house was and we knew it was at the perfect timing for all the designers to come in and start designing this space. So we had so much fun with it and it was really great to see it all come to life. This project was truly about a restoration. That's what appealed Barry and me, and as soon as you walk inside this stunning brownstone, you are struck by original details built in 1890 that were lovingly restored. One of the first things that you see when you walk into the house is this gorgeous stained glass window. Uh, it separates the vestibule from the front parlor, and it has all of these little jewel tones in it. You see pops of pink, pops of red blue, green, and that is what inspired every single thing that we brought into this space, from the colors, to the tones, to the patterns, to the textures. So as we take you through this space, we're gonna show you how we brought those colors into absolutely everything. And the first space that you walk into is this entryway where we put this really deep, rich blue tone. This is by Valspar, and it really envelops you as you walk into the home. We wanted to create a really special space meant for entertaining. So we created both a living and a dining area. The dining area is complemented with a round wood table from our house set in between gorgeous restored original bay windows. And then as you go into the living room, that is where you see the colors that we pulled from that stained glass really come in. We have these uh, two armchairs from our house. They're in this deep, rich red tone. And opposite that, we have this really light pink couch. And we chose this light pink couch because it was the lightest and palest color in that stained glass and we thought it would look perfect in this space. We brought in a beautiful rug from New Story that has the wave and the texture from that stained glass that really drew the inspiration for all four spaces. We gave a true nod to the home's past by creating an original lounge area. We used a bright textured wallpaper from Spoonflower from above the original wainscoting all the way up to the ceilings. And what I love about this lounge space is it is where you really get a lot of the history of the home. And the staircase was restored to its original layout. Something really special about this space is the ceiling here. And we use an original wall covering called Lincrusta that was originally developed in the late 1800s. And it just gives kind of that extra nod to the history that you see throughout this entire space. The woodwork is unbelievable. Check out this fret. You don't see this in most homes. This next space is one of my favorites. It's kind of a butler's pantry, and you really see a, a big pop of color here, and we painted everything in this beautiful color by Valspar. It's called Spanish Tile, and it really creates such a warm and cozy space. And then of course we have the, uh, the countertops. They're a Calcutta Viola, which also plays into that monochrome look. On the floor, we have fire clay tile. This is a brick tile. This powder room is super special. We have the motif that you see in that stained glass brought into this wallpaper from Spoonflower. And then below the wallpaper is this gorgeous, rich burgundy wainscoting paneling contrasting it with this gorgeous vessel sink that's made of marble. Moving inside a really special space, we collaborate it with the architect on the entire home and also the developer of the home, Adam Dayhill. 
So here we are with Alex from Alex Allen Studio, and it was such a dream for us to collaborate with this incredibly talented architect on this project. Oh, thanks. You guys, we did it. Our we first did show it. house. We did it. So what was your vision for this space and what was it like for you? We reorganized the layout of the house and moved the kitchen to this location. And it was really important for us to uh, maintain the woodwork that was existing in the kitchen and insert um, a new kitchen in all of this beautiful woodwork. Genius. Then we uh, made this large island um, that's on legs that kind of um, is reminiscent of old workstations, but it's large enough to be a gathering space. And what we really loved were these leg details here, and we emphasized these legs with this marble detail that follows the perimeter of the doweled legs. It's just so good, and something that Barry and I were just immediately drawn to is that you also care about the restoration process and bringing in that old life into the home, Definitely. but doing it in a really tactful, modern way. And I think this kitchen is a prime example of that. So congratulations. Yes, thank, you. thank you. And let's not forget about the stunning light. Tell everybody yes. where we can get this light because <laughs> I want this in my house. So this is our newest fixture and we wanted to design a chandelier that harks back to um, more traditional chandeliers but is contemporary in style and sculptural and can be a task light and light a, an island surface yet also be something that's really decorative. Yeah, I love it. And I love also these new openings here. Yes. With the double French style doors leading to the brand new deck. I know, they're beautiful. And this is from Pella and they did an excellent job. These doors are amazing. The work is gorgeous. <laughs> We're big fans. And yeah, for those that aren't following Alex Allen Studio and Adam is with us as well too, the homeowner. So tell us a little bit about the history of the house. The house was built in 1890. Uh, architect was Albert E. White, who designed all the homes on this block. So it's it's a beautiful block. All the homes kind of complement each other. We were very lucky here because most of the rooms were intact. Most of the woodwork was not painted. Uh, we get really, really lucky when we moved to the house. And what about the staircase? I know that was a big part of the project. As you know, these beautiful brownstones, the staircase is a main focal point as you walk into a home. And it was originally cut off from the rest of the house when they had turned the property into a apartment building. I wanted to turn it back to the original. And I found photographs spent time just researching exactly how it looked and it was an amazing part of the renovation to open up the center of the house let all that natural light in and it's just a grand entrance to the home great well thank you for letting all of us take the house over and <laughs> help you go team go team <laughs> We hope you loved this tour of the show house. We had such an incredible time working with not only the Real Simple House, but all of the incredibly talented designers. Special shout out to our lead designer, Carrie Page, Erica and Misty at the Real Simple, the entire Real Simple team, and all of the very talented designers. So give this video a like, please follow our feed, and we will be back with some more house tours.